Hi, here's an overview of the features of my smart fireplace device. Then we'll get into the physical install. Then we'll get into the wireless setup. So this fireplace device, a smart device comes with a 3D printed case. This will keep it safe from the heat of your fireplace along with not shorting it out on the, the metal bottom of your fireplace. Some of the key features are it has two hour auto shutoff. You can change this in the settings if you want, but the default is two hours. So if you forget to turn your fireplace off, it'll turn itself uh, automatically after two hours. Uh, it also has retains the functionality of your wall switch. So if you have a, a wall switch, which generally you flick on and off to control your fireplace, with this device, you can still do that and use it as a smart device. So if you turn it on from the wall, you can then turn it off from Alexa, or if you turn it on from Alexa, you can turn it off from the wall. So it re when you hit the wall switch, Alexa knows what the status of the fireplace is. This is the only fireplace, smart fireplace device on the market that has that feature. It also works with uh, Siri and HomeKit. So if you have an iPhone, you can set up a Siri shortcut to do this with, um, with your iPhone or uh, iPad or any other Mac device you had. You have, you can do it by voice. All right, let's talk about some of the connections. So the two wires coming out of the top, this is for your wall switch. So underneath your fireplace, when you disconnect your wall switch from your current fireplace controller, you will plug these two wires coming out of the top into the wall switch. Now what you just disconnected your wall switch from will be a couple wires that go to your current fireplace controller. That's where these two go. These two coming out of the side will go to the wires that go to your fireplace controller. Then over here we have power, your standard plug with the USB adapter. Plug that into the socket that's underneath your fireplace. You can disconnect these wires if you need to and, uh, run it through something for some reason, but just make sure red goes to positive and uh, black goes to negative. We also have a manual button on here. So if for whatever reason you wanted to control your fireplace manually, you still can. Just push that button for on and push it again for off. Let's get into the physical install now. So here we are down underneath the fireplace. So the first thing we need to do is identify the wires coming from the wall switch. In my case, it's this white wire coming in from the side. And in this case, it goes to two wires labeled SW1 and SW1, and they're brown. So this is my wall switch. So we're gonna disconnect these two brown wires. The brown wires actually run, you can follow the tubing and they run to the fireplace controller and it even tells you right here, switch brown, switch brown. So it's the two brown wires. Now coming back where we just disconnected, we have the wall switch over here in, in my left hand and we have the fireplace controller, the two wires coming out of the top, plug into your wall switch. Okay, now the two wires coming out of the side of the smart fireplace controller plug into your existing fireplace controller. Again, in this case, it's two brown wires labeled SW1. Simply plug those in. Okay, you can place the case under your fireplace the last thing to do is to plug in the power. And that goes to any socket you have under your fireplace. Now we'll get the smart fireplace controller on your Wi-Fi network. From any Wi-Fi device, in this case I'm using a MacBook, uh, but you can do this from an iPhone, an Android phone, uh, or an iPad or anything else. Go to your Wi-Fi settings and choose the one that says fireplace. Click on that. 
Now it'll take a second to connect and after it does, it'll pop up with this. You'll say scan for Wi-Fi networks and now you should see a list of Wi-Fi networks nearby. So choose your Wi-Fi network. My Wi-Fi network is called Matland 2. So we'll click on that and it puts it in AP1 field. Now you'll type in your Wi-Fi password and then you'll scroll down and you'll hit save. Now it'll take a few minutes here, but the device will restart itself and when it restarts, it will join your network. After a few minutes, when it joins your network, you can go to Alexa and you can say, Alexa, find new devices. After a few minutes, Alexa will say it found a device called Fireplace. And you're done. If you want to change any of the settings, you'll need to get the IP address of the Smart Fireplace. This is pretty easy to do, uh, but after it's been plugged in for a few seconds, simply open up a browser, and go to http colon slash slash fireplace dot local. And there it is. From here, you can get to any of the settings. Please see the instructions document for more information about how to change these settings. The other option is if you don't want to use this name or if it doesn't work, it may not work on everybody's network, uh, log into your router and get the IP address of the device. It's pretty easy. So in my case, my router is this. And if I look at the device list, I now have a list of every item on my network and I like to go just to the find. Oops. I like to say find. And then if you search for fireplace, and we'll see that fireplace address is this. If you copy that and go to that in the browser, it'll take you to the exact same web, web page. If the name resolution doesn't work, that's how you find it by IP address. Thank you for watching.